Hey guys, it's Tyler from Newman Next Stage, bringing you, um, a video on No Man's Sky. So, like, the video, the game's been out for, like, two days now, and I'm sure you can probably find millions of videos on it already. But, um, as far as I'm aware, which, of course, um, there probably is, but as far as I'm aware, there's nobody, like, explaining to people who want to buy the game how the game works. So, like, with most games, um... I like to, like, know what I'm buying before I get it. Um, I, this, No Man's Sky is the only game that I've ever pre-ordered. And so, um, I'm gonna show you how money works in No Man's Sky today. Um, and then, in another video, I'll tell you how the ship works and how, what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's go to, uh, so how does money work? Well, um, let me fly over to the space station and talk while I'm flying there. Um, there's two main ways to get money. You can go to planets and discover new planets and sell the information, which I can't do because I've discovered everything in the system already. Or you can do what we're going to do today. You can go to a planet and find something, <laughs> find like some useful materials and sell those so uh, I need to know where I'm, okay let's go here it's the this moon right here I've been there and I I named it Emery because there's so much emerald there and emerald is what you need because emerald is the most valuable mineral in this game. Emerald's the most, um, gold is second, and then I think it's aluminum, nickel, and then copper. Those are your valuable resources that you can get. Let's fly down here and see if we can get, see if we can find any emerald deposits just flying around you know it's an emerald deposit because you'll find you'll see like gigantic green rocks so if we see any like that one And this is a toxic planet, so I can't stay out here forever. But here is some emerald. This is actually a smaller deposit, I think. Let me scan it. Yeah, well, it's decent size. And this is how you get most of the money in this game by mining signal like by mining resources like this and then I can go back to the space station that you saw earlier and I can sell it. I'll show it to you later. The space station. I've upgraded my laser a bit too. So I can mine it. Um and here, like, uh, the little bit we've mined is already worth 25,000 units. That's how much units I have. I'm saving up to for a million so I can buy a better ship. Um, and, um... Like, yeah, you just kind of mine this, and I'll be back after I mine it. So, when I was uh, about to start recording, I realized I'm an idiot. I meant to transfer my emerald from over here to in my ship, and I accidentally deleted a whole bunch of it. So now I only have that much left. But it, conveniently for me, there's another vein over there, and I'm going to go hit that, and then we'll go back to the space station. So I got, it tells you total value 85,000 units. We would have gotten a lot more if I wasn't an idiot and deleted a bunch of it, but, whoa!
What? I don't know what I just did, but I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> well, let's go back down and move on, I guess. I wanted to take another quick look around to see if there's any uh, more emerald de emerald deposits, but it kicked it straight up kicked me out of the planet. There's one now. Boop. Here it is. Let's mine this up real quick, and then we'll go to the space station. Okay, so it kicked me out of the planet again, and I still don't know how, but... Um... We're gonna go back to the space station now. And... Sell all of my emerald. Look at all this. I have... $137,000 in units, and another stack of 19 units worth of emerald. So to sell this stuff, there's a few places you can find a market in planets, but that's too difficult for me to find right now. So I'm just going to go to the space station. I don't really waste my time trying to find one of those. If you happen to just come across one, that's neat, but I don't actively look for it. And it, it autopilots you into the space station so you don't have to be a master space pilot. Space stations are really the most important part of this game. Because that's where you sell all of the stuff. Um, if I happen to have some carbon, I can talk to this guy and he'll do stuff for me. Do I have carbon on me? No, I don't. Sell items from your inventories. So you'll see that like none of my emeralds there because it's all in my starship. And all of that money. Oh, it, it put all of my emerald together too. So now I have eight eight hundred and fifty-four thousand units, which is a decent amount. If I wanted to, this is where you can like, and these ships that fly in, they're traders, so you can talk, you can sell stuff to them too, and, which, buying stuff isn't, selling stuff to them isn't really, there's no super point to it when you can just use the market in there, but, buying stuff from them is what you will need to do. Oh, and he, the only word I understand is traveler, because I haven't learned his language all the way yet. That's, uh, I can also buy his ship if I wanted to. No, I can't, because I don't have the money. <laughs> and I'm going to make a separate video later about buying ships. Because I'm working on getting this Millennium Falcon looking thing. I really want this, this ship right here. One point three, yeah. It's a bit. But it's quite a bit better than mine. Look at them stats. We have the same hyper actually no, his hyperdrive's better, I think. No, it's about the same. We have the same hyperdrive. He has better shielding and better weapons than I do. So his ship is like a lot better. And also it has more storage space, as you can see. And he also has more f upgraded stuff. So this guy's, uh, this guy is awesome. And I won his ship. The the I call it the Millennium Falcon because look at it, it 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 is the Millennium Falcon. But until I can afford his ship, I'm still gonna keep driving mine. I like the look of my ship. It's just not as good as a whole bunch of other ones. And, um, that's 
That's that, that's the way I make money. Let, uh, there's another. There's other ways. Um, let's go over to this planet. It's still gonna take a minute to get there because you know space. It's pretty big. The other way to get money is to discover creatures and plants. And so we're going to go over to Frigid, which is the planet I started on. It's, I named it Frigid because it's an ice planet. An ice planet, not a nice planet. It's actually kind of shitty. But. Yeah, I've been to every planet and moon in this system. But I'm not going to leave until I buy that ship. I could leave this system anytime I wanted to with my hyperdrive, but I'm not gonna. sort of a field where animals would be yeah there'll be like unique animals and unique plants to every planet and if you are to scan it with this here scanner that I have analyzing you'll get a small amount of money, like literally it's only 200 units per new thing you discover. But hey, if you, if you just like jumping planet to planet, scanning everything, I'm sure you can get money eventually. Yep, like I'm discovering all kinds of new species of animal right now. What are you? You're, you're an ar gigantic armadillo looking thing. And that's really the only two ways to make money. You get a lot more money from discovering like new planets and moons and such. And if you discover a whole new system, that's like $10,000 right there. But this has been Tyler here from Gaming Exchange. I hope you have enjoyed and goodbye.